Welcome to Vacation Station, hosted by Lisa and Nancy, editors of BigBlendMagazines.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Big Blend Radio's first Thursday travel to Larry County show with the Sequoia Tourism Council. And, you know, you guys know this is one of our favorite places. Uh, the Sequoia mm. region, I should say, discover the Sequoias. Dot com is the website to go to, but Tulare County is the gateway region for Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks and also Giant Sequoia National Monument and Sequoia National Forest. So this area, you definitely want to go check out those big trees, go hiking, go out, play in the rivers. Uh, it is beautiful up there. However, there's all these beautiful communities as well, most of them agricultural communities, and they have historic downtowns and all kinds of shops and restaurants. Talk about farm to table fare. Uh, a great place to go hang out. So today we're going to Tulare itself. So I think Tulare was supposed to, well, Visalia is the um, the county seat of Tulare County, but I think way, way back when Tulare itself was the county seat. And that's where we're going today. We're going to Tulare. It's right off uh, the Highway 99. So even if you're going from Yosemite South, you can uh, get to Tulare very easily. They have a beautiful outlet center. They are known for agriculture in this community. In fact, they have the International Agricultural Center. And um, we're going to talk about all of it with Donette Silva Carter, who's the CEO and president of the Tulare Chamber of Commerce. So go to tularechamber.org. Welcome back, Donette. How are you? I am doing great, ladies. And it's time to be back and chat some more mm. about Tulare so we can share out all the great information and always a great day when I get to chat with the two of you. Oh, I know we've missed you. It's been a while. I know we've been doing yeah. all these spotlights every month and I'm like, okay, we got to wait for Donette's turn, you know, and I everybody's know. been very cool on these segments and it's been really a great showcase of the region, especially uh, us being back in the area last year. But um, you know, we, we're seeing what's happening and the Sequoias have also gone through fires last year and uh, Yosemite currently too. But you guys are all fine, right? So no matter what, you can go to Tulare County. I want to make sure everybody knows. Yes, ab absolutely. Come to Tulare County, knock on wood, that uh, we stay fine. I mean, this is um, the height of, you know, fire season and we are seeing some you know, some fires in California, but you can, you know, get to Sequoia National Park, Kings Canyon National Park, Sequoia National Monument, and Sequoia National Forest. So um, everything is great up there. Uh, Yosemite is down the road about, oh, mm -hmm. I want to say like an hour and a half or so. Mm -hmm. And you can get up there and, you know, this is, it's the beauty of the area. I have to tell you, uh, today we had a presentation at my Rotary Club about the Sequoias and this is going to be a show that's going to be released to PBS. And so we got a preview of a wow. portion of it and mm -hmm. it's so amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. I, you know, I love the Sequoias already, but when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, we are just so fortunate to have these gems of these beautiful mm. sequoia trees in our backyard. Yeah. You really, you, you really mm. have it. I mean, it's like, you know, to live there in Tulare County, you've got farm to table food. And let me tell you, I've, I've got friends um, in, you know, other areas that are no Tulare County and they go, they really miss Tulare County just because they could just go to a farm stand and get some fresh plums or whatever fruit or vegetables they want because of the, you know, agriculture, you know, is like king, as are these giant sequoias, you know. Um, so you could go up and have this amazing hiking nature experience, or you can go have really, you know, fresh, fresh produce, like right there, like that day that was picked. Or you can get some of the best ice cream on the planet at Rosa Brothers. I'm just saying, I remember that ice cream very well. And uh, I had the peppermint chocolate chip. And I would like some more right now, please. Okay. Okay. I wish I could send it to you. Um, <laughs> I would if I could. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's such and that's such a great business story. I know we did um, a showcase on that. And just the fact that they actually, I mean, they have their own dairy, so they're producing their own milk. Then they take it through, you know, through the cows, and they go to the production 
facility and you can get some wonderful bottled milks, variety of different flavors, and of course, all of the flavors of ice cream that they offer. And one of the things I like too is they have this super cute store. And that store that you go into to get your milk, to get your ice cream, also features other products that are a sample of what's going on in the region. So from honeys to Stafford's chocolates and Portuguese (laughs) sweet bread. So you can get, yeah, I know, good stuff. You can get so many different um, varieties of items that are all local. And I love that about that little store. It's fun to pop into. Mm. Nice. And pistachios. You have pistachios, mm, yeah. too. I remember seeing them in there. Yes. Pistachios. Oh, yeah. Pistachios. And I'm oh. trying to think everything else. There's so much. There's olive butter oils. that comes out of Lando Lakes, <laughs> olive oil, olives. So yeah. just, you know, a great variety. It's, you know, one of those places you enjoy going to. Yeah, I, mm. I loved it because they even had a little picnic bench. You could just go sit outside and enjoy your ice cream right there. Be outside in the fresh air, you know, and... That's the thing. You've got agriculture, but part of that is also dairy. And there's a lot yep. of going on in, in educating people on dairy, too. Uh, oh, the outlet I, center. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say the outlet center is really cool because people want a good deal. Everyone's talking about inflation and all this stuff. But I'm like, well, then go to the outlet center if you're going to go shopping. But um, I want to talk about them. But just something going back to Rosa Brothers. It's a family business. And I think, yes. Nancy, wouldn't you agree, Nancy, that this is a big deal mm-hmm. about going to Tulare County is you have historic downtowns with the mom and pop shops. Right. You, It's just, it's so um, personable. And people like Hedgerow, at, we were at the Hedgerow House for the antiques and uh, Hazel's Restaurant. Like the places we went to, everybody's like really invested in their community. It's right. not just about they themselves care. and their they business. Care. The downtown dream and downtown Tulare everywhere mm-hmm. just seems like you've got you've got the outlet mall right with you know the yes. box stores that you want and everything, yep. but it's at a discount. But then at the same time, you have this balance of we're working with the mom and pop shops for a chamber of commerce. That's going to be kind of cool to be working both those places, like working together to make a community for, because people want both sides, not just one and not oh, just exactly. the other. It's absolutely great offerings because you have that mix of entities Mm -hmm. that serve the community. And we also have people, you know, that travel from, you know, beyond our community, beyond even Mm -hmm. Tulare County to come to the outlets. They're coming to the International Agri Center. They're going, you know, up to the Sequoias. They're stopping Mm -hmm. here to do their shopping and eating and fill their gas tank. And then we have a lot of hotels in our community. Uh, which is great for some really cool offerings. So everything from a brand hotel to, you know, some of the smaller boutique type of hotels. We've got a new one of those, you know, that has just come online. So Mm. you have a lot of great experiences you can come to. I always want to say, too, if you come over and you're visiting and, um, you know, it does get a little warm during the summer, but we have ways for you to cool off. And one of those is to go to Galaxy Theaters. They yes. have this upscale cool. movie theater. It is called Luxury Theaters, and it is with the best reclining seats mm. and all kinds of wonderful offerings for for food and beverage and alcohol. Awesome. And, it, and it can just be part of your experience. You can walk over you know, from the theater to Bravo Farms to go get your dinner afterwards and then, you know, cruise all the stores um, in the outlets and head around town to some of the other smaller uh, boutique types of shopping uh, that are offered and into our downtown as well. Something that I think is fun as well is that we have, um, you know, a lot of the hair salons, you know, are locally owned. Uh, Folks, they have little boutiques inside their salons. So oh, a that's lot of cool. different, yeah, yeah, it's a variety of offerings. So, you know, you don't just go in to, to get your, get your hair done. Uh, you go in and you have all kinds of shopping too. And you know, Delisa, that is person. smart because you're sitting yes. there waiting yeah. for your hair to curl and dry or your nails to dry. And you're looking, I know you, Donette. Hey, we know new, you. Now, new Donette hairstyle, is our, new dress. 
because she's all uh-huh. like, can you bring that rack over here while I, yes, you know, my, I, yeah, my, my, I want to check I, out what you have to offer. I know, so, yeah. and she's yeah. watching it, and Joe's sitting there, and he knows, uh-oh, the credit card's coming out for even well, more right probably now. Rolling, because, he's probably rolling his eyes, Lisa. <laughs> because no, it's no, because brother. you're watching no, it no, for no. a long time. It's no, not like you're just browsing. <laughs> people know, happy wife, happy husband. There you there go. Not no. happy. Husband not happy. Uh, exactly. It's just like all I can see is like Donette sitting. The only thing she would maybe want is a margarita in there, but she's a lady of chamber of oh, commerce. So cool. like, if you can yeah, get we can get her done with a margarita. <laughs> wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, That's, so I have to tell you, there are uh-oh. salons that do that too. No, you go cool. in. You can have get a margarita, out. a glass of wine. So awesome. yeah, mimosa, you know, oh. that, that is offered, you know, by a variety of what? our different salons. Why it's didn't just you tell extra, me that when we were there? A, I know, I'm sorry. I should have taken you to one of those. Yeah, it's oh. an extra customer service perk. Oh, my God. It's the only way my hair service gets done. Oh my God. It's the that only, way, it it. it's the because... only way I shop. We we actually had a friend who she had a clothing boutique and she would she would have champagne. If she, if we went in and chopped because she knows I hate I'm not a you know, I'm not like you done it I don't like the clothing like it just you know she would say come on we've got the champagne and then we would you know and then and, she'd uh, show us exactly but, what she but, knew we would buy and we would end up buying great. ten times more of the things yeah. that we were supposed to buy and we why. were happy we had so much fun <laughs> but but. I did not know that. Now, okay, so I'm going to have to wait until we come back to Tulare yeah. County to get my hair cut because, okay, you know. we will hook you up with the right salon to go to. Seriously. Oh, cool. Seriously. And actually, that it's more than one. Cool. So, yeah, it's multiple. Oh, my God. So, they, so you that, get one, so. I get the other. See, that's <laughs> you know, an incentive to um, get your hair cut is a cost. Exactly. <laughs> yep. And, you know, something, everything should be an experience that you can enjoy. Exactly. You know, and so people who build on what the basic experience is of just going in to get your nails done or your hair, and they take it to that next level. And we remember those kinds of things when it's time to go back. Exactly. You know, I'm not going to change, you know, nail ladies. I'm going to go back to somebody who's created this experience See? in their in their shop so that it's an enjoyable, relaxing time. And, you know, when you go shopping mm-hmm. anywhere, you know, you, you you look for that experience and exactly. you know, everything events that we do here in the area, everything is about the experience. And, you mm, know, I, tr- I, I have it. the opportunity to travel and, and I look for those experiences and I look for the unique opportunities too. whenever I'm going into a community. Right. And I really feel like that's, you know, top level customer service and fun. And it makes, you know, your travel uh, so much more enjoyable, and you just never know where you're going to get those different kinds of yeah. experiences. It's true, you know. You, you, the things that you remember from trips. I mean, we travel full time, so when we start thinking about what we remember, because everything moves so fast, it's when the customer service is great, the products are great. And you can actually really, what I would call totally relax and feel comfortable and feel like you're getting special attention. That sounds yeah, really bad. It, it's but, the but you know what like I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, an experience. It, it's the interaction. It's, an experience. it's not just customer service. Oh, we smiled it's, and said, did you have a nice day? Exactly. It's, it's, it's actually an interaction. And I think yeah. when you go to places like Tulare, it's a yeah. small town, but it's a growing, I love it. growing, growing small town, which I want to talk about. But oh, you, when you're talking to someone like, the, you know, maybe your server at the restaurant, mm-hmm. they're going to say something. You, you, they're, they take that extra time to find out how can they interact with you? What are you enjoying? Oh, mm-hmm. you know, you love exactly. chocolate chips. Oh, my brother loves chocolate. You know, one time he ate the whole bag of chocolate chips and he wasn't supposed to or whatever. And you find that commonality. And I think that there's so many places mm-hmm. now where you just, it's it's the it's the fake customer service. Well, it's The experience personal. is connecting and then also going, like you've talked about on the show for years, Don, and it's mm-hmm. like, Go to the small town events. Go to the community events. If you want to hang with the locals, it's not necessarily going to the dive bar. It is going to the events and the pancake breakfast. And you know what I mean? That's that's mm-hmm. a that's a cool way to connect. And your area um, 
you're meeting people from around the world because of agriculture, I think, and yeah, people that are, are traveling so right. there too, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Everyone's yeah. from around the world. You know, I keep our Sequoia visitor guides in the back of my car because I mm -hmm. have found that I may be at a restaurant, overhear some folks talking, and they're visiting um, a lot. We do get a lot of um, foreigners who are coming through because they're, you know, on their way to go to the sequoias, so they're staying mm -hmm. in our community, shopping or eating in our community. And so, you know, you, you have to be prepared, hear someone chatting. It's like, oh, well, let me let me give you this visitor guide mm -hmm. so we can maybe enhance your experience here, show you what else there is to do in the area. So, yeah, you have to be, you know, on the lookout. And I do do that, as you're mentioning, when I go to communities. Um, I'm looking for the activities, you know. I want to be you know, a part of that local scene to mm. experience what they find that's special, you know, for their community. You know, exactly. I was reading this morning, I read this thing about sharks being the oldest thing on earth. And so they were listening. <laughs> Donette wants to hear this. She just I know, no, no, because yeah, I'm the beach have, girl, Nancy. God. I know. <laughs> no, but it's, it's really cool. Sharks have been here for ages, like really ages. And the other thing, who has been here just as long? Sequoia trees. Yeah. Shots oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The oldest trees in the world. It's they are among that group. But there's also sharks. <laughs> <laughs> but the sharks are not I like the sequoias. sequoia trees better than the sharks. Just to like. <laughs> I, know. I know, but it's like, 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 no. like, really? But oh, Donna, we'll have to around. do the hand. <laughs> sharks, sharks and trees have been around for millions of years, like yeah. longer than people thought. Well, but that's now what's so they cool. have fossils. But, and but now, it's so cool. I know. So the sequoias and sharks like each other, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I think what's so cool about it, like here are these ancient beings in your backyard, mm -hmm. but yeah. there's obviously something good about your soil and I mean, you go up the hill to the park, but so it's a little different, uh, you know, ecosystem. But there is something about your area that things grow. You know, can I plant a money tree in your backyard and see if it grows? Yeah. Uh, I it haven't seen that work as far as a, <laughs> that's not really a farming project. Um, it would be great <laughs> if that were to happen. Would um, that be funny? That. Yeah. yeah. That would be but, fun. Yeah. But you... You really do have uh, really an amazing thing. And, and speaking of agriculture, too, um, the International Agri Center, I really want to encourage people to go there, especially with kids, uh, for kids to learn where their food comes from. Uh, I know we've mm -hmm. you know showcased this on shows before and, and did the different magazines, but um, it is really important. There's more. It's you can go out in the field and see, you know, plants and growing and orange oranges or plums or you know what have you. But I think what this museum does so well is it shows the history of agriculture in your area, but the history of agriculture too in general. But it also really gives kids an idea of how the how the food is actually grown. You know, so that mm -hmm. when they do go on a farm and see something grow, they get an understanding. It does a really good job of being interactive as well. It's fun. It's a fun museum. Yeah, it is. I love Ag Ventures Learning Center and taking my granddaughters there so we can explore and it never gets old. So it's, mm -hmm. you know, they see. They change it up, and then plus they have the regular static displays, but it never gets old, getting to play, getting to climb on tractors, taking a look in there. Cool. They have that whole fruit stand that's in there, a, a fake fruit, of course, for the kids to, to play with, to weigh, to look at and learn um, about um, agriculture. And, of course, we are uh, one of the three top producing agriculture counties in the world. Mm. Larry County. Amazing, so we always run one, two, and three with our neighbors to the south and our neighbors to the north. And yeah, it is truly amazing. Mm -hmm. We're definitely deeply rooted in ag and we are the number one uh, milk producing region. So wow. dairy mm -hmm. is queen in our area for sure. And cheese you know, and ice cream. Even <laughs> ice cream. Yes, ice cream mm -hmm. is here. And so, yeah. And, and like I said, you know, 
fun things to do and to learn and to explore. I want to mention, too, in one of our neighboring communities, we have a, a county uh, museum, and that is all yes. about agriculture, too. Tulare and, County in Visalia? That, Tulare County, yep. I love and that it, museum. Oh, my yep. God, I mm-hmm. love that museum. Uh, just down the street from us and just a I love how they dig deep into the history of ag, you know, mm-hmm. throughout our region here. So uh, another place to go, plus the fact that that's a cool park, too. So we have well, cool yeah, Moody Park, but I, Moody Grove, Moody Grove, I also want to say about that museum, um, we did an interview with Amy King. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. She was I know she, she was about to go and take a break and have her baby, but um, she really showed us, you know, this new museum part of it they have uh, inside a, a huge barn right which is, makes sense but they showcase in there all the different people that made Tulare County like as mm-hmm. as for agriculture all these different cultures and you know I didn't know like our media and you know there's like as over 20 I think it was like 23 or something 20 over 20 different cultures of mm-hmm. people that have come to this this county and made it what it is today is mm-hmm. pretty Portuguese, right? Donette is a oh, huge yeah, one. Absolutely. The Hmong. Uh, I mean, there's well. just uh, just so many cultures that you don't realize that are but behind what... what our food. And I think it's a very important thing for people to realize. And that's why I was saying, like, but even just being in Tulare County. Is. You are that is this. what America is. It's a blending of cultures with like-minded people. That's what America is. But Tulare County is very much that way. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh yeah, we have you, the cultural yeah. diversity uh, yeah. in our area is mm-hmm. it's definitely awesome. you're going to find all kinds of different cultures, and mm-hmm. it's cool to really look at that blend of cultures and what they bring to a community. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to mm-hmm. see it in so many different types of cultural celebrations in the restaurants that we have in the area. So mm-hmm. it makes that um, experience here for those of us who live here. It makes it really cool because we have yeah. so many different people we get to connect with and learn about the cultures throughout our life. And then mm-hmm. also people who come into the area for, you know, the vari- various different kinds of celebra- celebrations that happen here. Yeah, I still want to go to the Portuguese festivals. Like you know, yeah, I know you just missed it, so we're going to have to bring you back Uh, um, in June one time so that you can uh, be a part of that because yeah, it's definitely uh, a lot of fun and to learn the history of the Portuguese culture and why those festivals happen, all of that. So next trip, ladies, will have to be yeah. in June. Yeah. And so but now, don't you have a, spe- a special like sausage that is made in your area? Oh, that would be linguisa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a great sausage. We actually, I should mention this, yeah, um, Tulare Meat Locker, uh, Danny Mendez owns that, and he just won a boatload of awards for his oh, sausages. Cool. And, he, and he's great. I mean, his linguisa is awesome, very authentic. He has other kinds of sausages, too. Um, but, yeah, they just, you know, won some some national awards. Uh, an awesome place, again, to visit. We have a, you know, cool. Portuguese bakery that features uh, lots of different pastries and delights. That's where you can get your sweet bread. They mm. uh, just have a new owner that's taken over. and. Oh. So really expanded uh, what their offerings are. So cool. these kinds of things are places you can go to when you visit Tulare County. It's, it's a foodie it's awesome. place for sure. And yeah, yeah. It, you it's know, really you've a got, foodie. Yeah, yeah. when you go to Tulare Outlet too, you go to the movies, the Galaxy Theater, which is a really amazing experience. Yeah, cool. And yeah. that's what, I, I mean, I love that. I can't believe like, like the experience you can have, like you're at this outlet center and it's outside and there's events there, farmers markets, all kinds mm-hmm. of events that happen too. So you can get your box stores, but then you have restaurants that are local as well. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, is Bravo Farm still there? I don't know if they're. Yeah, oh, at Bravo Farms isn't going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, they are. Thank God the they're good. Place. Yeah, they, <laughs> and they have just expanded uh, their um, store inside too uh, and so there's a lot more offerings for that Ooh. so again you can shop and eat or shop while you're waiting to eat so just a fun place and you know they're very big too on the farm to fork so our, yeah yeah mm. so, and then cool yeah, hand looks, everybody 
cool hand loops you've got to go there this yeah, is like the coolest cool steakhouse saloon but it's like authentic it's like a you were talking about the experience you know you can tell Donette is a chamber person she wants everyone to do their business the best way they can <laughs> you know she does but that is a, a place where I mean the experience it just for kids going in and for families I mean obviously there's a saloon part too and you can you know go as adults of course but it's just fun. You just want to feel like, you know, you, it is, I still count Tulare County as part of the Southwest because of just the way it, you know, just the location and everything. I mean, we get San Francisco, not so much, but you guys, you're still part of the Southwest and you have all the ranching communities, the farming. So to me, it's like this perfect fit there. Um, so it's kind of, kind of like the the region. And at the same time, like this cool experience, I think for travelers too, it's right in, right next to the La Quinta. It's got just newly renovated, beautiful rooms. Um, it's Hotel Circle. You have all these hotels in Tulare, and it's right off the highway. So when you're traveling, like just just go book your hotel, stay there, and travel out. It's so easy from there. I mean, it's just so mm -hmm. easy. But yeah, very, I love very having convenient. them next yeah. next to the hotel. You can just you know crawl back to your room I think you know when <laughs> when we look at all the places we've been which is really a lot I have to say that Tulare and that whole region is is probably one that tops when it comes to family destinations yeah for yeah. sure yeah. yeah I would definitely agree with you Nancy yeah definitely and it's family we also have you know in our area so nearby for driving you know like maybe 30 40 minutes you've got a couple of lakes too and mm -hmm. they have boat yeah. rentals so mm -hmm. fun other things to do you know while you're here go up and experience the foothills uh, with our mm -hmm. lakes that are available cool. and we also I mean because I know this is big for some people so they are looking for those casinos so ding, 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 we ding. do we have great casino. We actually Eagle Mountain Casino will open a brand new casino yeah. in about mm. three months. So oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. Oh, cool. But yeah. It's gonna be amazing. And you know, when you're talking about um oh, when I say looking at the area, this casino's design is based on celebrating not only the tribe, but you know, what do we find in the area? The The look of it is almost kind of lodge-like, uh, and it's going to be really cool. I'm really looking forward to that grand cool. opening. But again, oh, another awesome. opportunity. They have concerts. They have all that. They are partners, you know, with mm -hmm. us and others, and just, you know, various different places you can go to. Uh, we talked about Tulare, you know, being on the move and new things coming to our area. One of those will be an amphitheater in downtown so one of our Whoa. parks is undergoing a renovation so it'll have wow. a great amphitheater for concerts looking forward to that i think we're cool. about a year out on that being mm. completed and just another gathering place and again there are all kinds of little events that you can come to you know in the community and you know have a cool. great time you know with your family and it's, and, and we all share it, too. I mean, we, we you know, of course, are going to say, hey, we want people to stay in Tulare. We have a ton of offerings. But I'm very regionally focused, too. So, you know, yeah, our yeah. region here has so many offerings uh, for everyone. So, you know, we'll meet your needs of what you, you need to do. You need to go manage your golfing? Mm -hmm. We got that in the area as well. So, oh, cool. You know, I want to go. Yeah, different things for kids. There's a, there's a children's mm -hmm. museum as well. Um, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, That's a lot of different things. And Tulare, things and by the way, your, your, your museum, too, is really cool. And I think this is something I, I want to touch on as well. Uh, going in the museum, Tulare, it is really cool because they show the history of Tulare back in the day when it was a county seat years years ago they had a lake there and you see the exhibits of the pioneers and, and mm. the farmers the agriculture again um, and the Native American history but also one of the coolest uh, things I, I really really uh, love is that they have like the military ward like a display but they show women's history of women mm -hmm. in, in fighting in military fighting too and then the Olympics, 
How many Olympians are coming out of Tulare? Yeah, what the heck I is know. going on? I mean, we have so four? many. You, you, you have to come it's back crazy. and see our, our newest mural. And actually, tomorrow oh. we are doing a dedication because um, Richard Kiki Torres Jr., mm. who just you know won the silver in heavyweight boxing last year, yeah. and truly a, a community person. I have to tell you, on his clothing when he is in the ring it says to larry bright and bold because he's so oh, proud so of the cool. community and where he came from and so tomorrow we are doing the dedication for the next mural that's going cool. into to the boxing club so you yeah lots of olympians um from our area three key olympians that won uh between gold and silver so yeah something else to see so i do love um the museum mm-hmm. the historical museum because of how it tells the stories of so many people in our area and you mentioned veterans so we also need to make sure we remind people too that we have a um, vietnam era uh, memorial mm-hmm. that is the airplane that's out in an area right off the yes. airport as mm-hmm. well as a bomber that's out there too so a couple of different uh, places to stop, take photographs, read the history and information on those as well. They are definitely, you know, icons in the community, as well as murals. So Mm -hmm. we have a good number of murals in our community and in our neighboring community. We love art, and yeah, so lots of art to come and view as well. Shopping, dining, art, farms, Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's cool. You got to go. You got to go. And listen, before before you go, is it true that the area is expanding, Tulare itself, with yes. roadways and um, just mm-hmm. even downtown? The last time we were there seeing you last year, the downtown dream and everybody seems to be really focused on uh, just getting the downtown, you know, it, it's alive. You know what I mean? It's a, it's exactly. a thriving downtown. We, there's a significant effort to reinvigorate our downtown and we are getting um you know seeing a lot of facade improvements plus there's been a lot of grant money to help with that for those moving forward and of course that amphitheater is right in the heart of downtown it's right across the street from city hall and we're going to see you know a lot more restaurants coming to the area other kinds of projects and then in our southern area, too, of the community, at the International Agri Center, there is a whole new um, highway um, that's being mm. built. Not a whole highway, I shouldn't say that, but we're going to have a brand new. Um, I'm trying, can, you, can you believe I can't come up with the terms? I'm always good at, of talking about things. But anyway, new mm. ramps, new area that is going okay. to create more economic development because we will see hotels and restaurants coming into that southern area of our community cool. uh, with what's being built over there. So, sorry, I can't nice. remember my words today. But anyway, but That's it's going to be pivotal, you know, in our community for development of retail as well as, you know, hospitality and also industrial. Cool. So we're excited about wow. that project. Uh, the completion is going to be a few years off, but it's in the planning. So awesome. we are working on all of our expansion plans for Tulare. Tulare is, is that's so on cool the looking. I like yeah. it. You look into the future always. That's what yeah. I like about it. Yeah, you and know? I think that it's so cool because you have that balance of the history, the family. Mm-hmm. You know, nature, yeah. I think it's have, really, you, you, really, this is like a mix. balanced, a nice balanced growth that is yeah. happening. Oh, so, much, yeah, so much mix. that's offered. Oh, race. I mean, um, I want to talk about the raceway too. So anyway, oh, okay. interchange well, hello. Was the common, I I was, the about interchange this. was the word I was trying to talk, remember about okay. the, the highway improvement. But anyway, so we have Thunderbolt Raceway too. So if you're somebody who's oh. interested in races, that's also available cool. in our community. It's located at our that. fairgrounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something else. Your next trip, we'll head over to the fairgrounds. We'll check out the raceway and talk with I want to go to the raceway. I want to play with the race cars and stuff. Yeah, yeah because, because they let you ride one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, because, yeah, yeah no, because we, we um, had sitted for a drag car racer. As, as m- m- many of you know, we, we pets it as we travel across the country. It started in COVID, but it's the best thing we do. I mean, it's it's awesome. And one of the people we pets that uh, he 
Hi, Neil. Um, he he um, is a, I'm not going to get it right, but drag, he's got one of those. It's a those, drag, 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 a drag star thing. Drag, it's, it, yeah. He's going he's gonna to so call me up and yell at us now. Yeah. Um, but he showed it to us. And it's it's like it one of those awesome. ones that the guy that did the Cross the Bonneville Flats, like the, it's like a race race thing. Like, oh, very like cool. I, if I got in it, I would get a ticket or cool. I'd get hurt. You know it's a I mean? drag. It's a drag race. Drag race. Oh, race. Those two, no matter what, we're in trouble. We said it all wrong. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Wrong. Hey, I, I I couldn't get my words right today either. You know, so yeah, we're, rem- just, um, we're just we're just. Yeah. It's a really cool car. Hey, yeah, it's cool. almost Friday, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, hey, that's isn't it? Oh, it's only Wednesday. <laughs> Well, no, it's over the day it's we're almost, talking. Yeah, yeah we're, we're pre-recording. It's almost there, but 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 listen, I, this is the thing. Tulare is really just moving and shaking and doing, but the balance is so beautiful. Um, TulareChamber.org. Everyone, go there. Um, from there, you can go look at the chamber members. These are the people that invest into their community. And so, when you shop, I always say, look at the members of visitor bureaus and chambers of commerce because. These are the businesses that are invested and work well, together. And I think that's important, yep. isn't it? Donette, we need to yes, do a it chamber is. of commerce always, show. You know, we, I always say shop yeah. chamber members first. So. Yeah, yeah, because, because they're, they're serious. They yeah, are. They're, they're, serious? They're, 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 good, they're good stewards of their community. Exactly. In addition, you know, you you have that, you know, lo- the local flavor to those. And, and it could be big boxes, too. I mean, we have big boxes who are yeah, very but supportive that's part and of it. engaged. That's a- Yes, yeah, so you have yeah. everything from small to large um, mm-hmm. in the community. And recycle, yeah. like the, the the thrift stores that do the recycled clothing oh, and stuff. So that's yeah. also cool. So it's a little bit of everything. And I think it's good that you have the outlet center because it's it's that's the balance. That's a little bit of everything. and That's what makes it. And you have a beautiful park system, too. By the way, I love your parks. Uh, oh, they're just so they're much. gorgeous and so now we need to come back nancy and apparently we we need to we like the eagle mountain casino by the way we had a good yeah, time you've got to come um, back when after they we have, want have to go to the new opening. one yes, yes. we uh, need to cool. and they do, they are really big on music and that's a huge thing too with what they're doing so uh you're gonna see some big names going through again right so that's yeah, another cool. big deal and, yep. and they're moving is we, we were talking about family, I think is really important to talk about this. You know, they their casino is on the reservation area, really, and an area where there's families and kids on bicycles. And so it wasn't a good blend, if you will. Um, I think they're allowed to serve alcohol where they are now, right? They didn't want to serve alcohol where they were because it's that's where, a, yeah, dangerous. They, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's too, dangerous yeah, for drivers. So- yeah. Um, yep. at that so, point yeah the new the new place will definitely have that it's going to end up having a convention center area and oh, also nice. a hotel so nice. they're in stage one which will be the you know the casino first and an event center and then that will expand uh to grow even more so and we want definitely money there. a fun place <laughs> we want money when we were there we had a good time we we're like yeah, we had this we amazing dinner uh really amazing dinner and then they're like okay well you open your club card and so we did, and then we went money. We we're like, run, run! <laughs> that had always makes and we the experience money. even better. Yeah, yeah it, it does. Was awesome! It's, it's so awesome. Oh, thank you so much, Don. And it's a pleasure to have you back on the show. We've missed you, and uh, we'll have to come back. I mean, it's just okay. there's always something new in Tulare County, and of course in Tulare. So TulareChamber.org. Also, when you visit the area. You want to go to discoverthesequoias.com and that'll connect you to all the different communities and the parks and the forest. It's a really great resource. And of course, keep up with us at bigblendradio.com. We air our Tulare County show, Travel Tulare County, every first Thursday. That's a mouthful. Well, so thanks so much, Donna. Thank you, ladies. It's been great chatting with you. Can't wait for your return visit to Tulare and the Sequoia region. Awesome. I want some ice cream. Uh, We'll make sure that happens.